Hello and welcome to another edition of Informatica B2B Data Transformation videos. I'm going to be introducing something called the Alternatives Anchor. The agenda for the video is to basically go through the DT project and the samples directory where we'll get a basic understanding of what alternatives mean. And secondly, we're going to example a, a real life case implementation where we'll have two different input files that will populate the same data holders and use different groups. So it's important to understand the following concepts, uh, input file variability, and then how you set up the content tags after you've created the markers. And these are just some of the elements that we're going to go through today. Let's quickly go into the data transformation studio. This is the alternatives file and you can get it in the following location clients dt samples project alternatives what this is allow, going to allow us to do is to process the two different groups the first group is one that will look for this slash here in the form of a marker and then these content tags will be the ones will, that will be setting the data holders so when we run this we're basically going to get a standardized XML. In this case, it'll be three different uh, data records. Run alternatives parser. And check out the output. So Danny, Mark, and you see everything's captured properly. It would be nice if the this Jan had been turned into 01, but in this case, we're just trying to show you the basic structure is basically having two different groups underneath and making sure that each has a content markers as you can see here. So now I want to go through the real life scenario and that is this thing called test index script. And what this will do is it will be looking for the area between the index information and column information and then it will process two different groups. Uh, the two different groups will have two different files, input files, and I'm going to cover that right now. So there will be one where we will have actual index information underneath here. So this is the index information start and this is the, the close. And we're basically going to try to go in here and then get these values here. This is the description and then this, these are the actual values. In the notes example, all we have here is just the span tag with the class NA equals and nothing else. It's completely empty. Okay, that's a basic brief explanation. So what we have here when we run this basic example is that we have the first choice when it's looking for class equals NA and then it will have this content marker, which will allow empty values. So I'm going to run it here. This will be successful, but I'm, after that, I'm going to show you the different variab variables. Test index. So you can see it's populated some of these data datas that you saw in the ordinal information. You see there's two index types, B index and then index one. You can actually go in and look at the actual example as well. So it's this, this line right here. So what happens when, when we mess, when we don't actually, we make this optional? It's important that I cover this because in this particular scenario, the customer had made this optional. When we make this optional, what ends up happening since we allow empty values is we end up with an output that has nothing in here. So you have index information where things should be here, but there's nothing here nothing's been populated. So it's really important that you keep things in your first group to not ever use optional and the, and the content marker. So secondly, what I'm going to cover the importance of 
getting a positive value here. So in this case, it's the span marker because if you don't have any of this, let's just make this nothing. What will end up happening is everything will get erroneously put into the index type here. So in this case, what ha ends up happening is that there, are, since there are no markers, and you can and you have to assign values here. Everything will get assigned to the index value type. So I'm going to set everything back to normal. And then we'll cover the second group. So in the second group, we're going to be looking for enabled. And we're going to be parsing things as the normal way. The only thing that's optional is this repeating group. So see this, this is where the data is for this particular item here. Uh, I'm going to be putting up this sample as part of the video as well, so you can run this through yourself. Um, there's the, the other file. When we use the other, situate, other item here, we'll get different results than the current output.xml. So we return this to, to the regular items. You see it has ABN document ID. This changes to notes, and this will populate the first group in the alternatives anchor. And you see how this gets populated, and then NA is a value, as it is in the first group up here for index type. See that in a is actually what's in the span. This is notes, index, and it's what's in the span, this value here. So that's it. Uh, I would encourage you to use documentation. Um, it is in the studio here. All you need to do is type in the words alternatives, help, actually not here. Data transformation help, table of, or search. So we would love to hear from you, so please email us at supportvideos at informatica.com or follow us on Twitter. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye now.